Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to be playing three games, and we're going to be seeing how quickly we can complete these quick challenges. And not only that, we're going to be seeing how much XP you could potentially get in one hour. I farmed up a little bit of wood, but you know what? 36 wood. I mean, that's one extra tree. Maybe we'll save five seconds. So we're going to be doing these three challenges and I'm only going to be counting this XP in this video. I'm going to be counting other XP like if I open a chest or get an ammo box, but I will not be counting XP from any challenges. Let's say I end up killing one wildlife. I wouldn't count that 12,000 XP. So we are going to hop into our first game. I, I'm a little bit rusty with this. I haven't done bot lobbies in a while, but let's see how this goes, guys. So once I enter the battle bus right here, then guys, I will be timing it and we're gonna see how long it actually takes to get how much XP. I, I don't really know how else to put it. So I'm going to back out with my bot account and guys, since we have to, I think we're gonna have to head over to Lazy Lake because there's fishing. We can obviously harvest wood and there will be players there. And again, it's a good location to sort of go around and open up chests and ammo boxes and kill players, get XP that way. So the first thing I'm going to do for these challenges inside of bot lobbies is obviously try to get the three kills. Like that's the most important thing because once these players die, then it's gonna take a lot longer to get this challenge done. Here is our first chest, a little bit of XP there. I am going to like re-equate the XP. I'm not gonna have it count as supercharged XP. I think that's a little bit unfair and stupid of me to do. So when we actually tally up how much XP I ended up with, I am not going to be using the supercharged XP, even though we're getting it right now. We ended up getting peppers, which is really nice. And I know bots are a little bit better um, this season compared to last season. So I'm gonna definitely carry this big pot. Another problem with the bots, guys, and going to a location with UFOs, I mean, it's pretty obvious, guys. Am I wrong? So we're gonna pick this up and die. Okay, I am going to completely restart, guys. I know, I got a little bit more wood. That's like 15 seconds extra. Maybe I'll add that on at the end, but guys, one thing you cannot do is land at UFO locations. That's what we learned, okay? Uh, that's, okay, I learned it. We're gonna be restarting, let's go. So guys, I ended up getting one kill and I ended up harvesting a little bit of wood. So I might add on an extra 20 seconds at the end of this, just to make it a little bit more fair because I've already started these challenges. But guys, bot lobbies are a lot harder this season than any season before they have become so good i know i've proved that they were in arena but the bots in this are just insane their accuracy is amazing but guys here we go again we're gonna try it out so guys third time is the charm we're gonna start the timer right now and we can't go to lazy lake but we can go to misty meadows one thing that i feel like you should know you probably already do if you play bot lobbies or if you have the ability to i'm assuming you probably do or have tried it this season but guys bots are just insane like they are absurd i don't know if i played bot lobbies this season i don't think i have i feel like i would have recognized if bots were this good but now it's having me rethink everything I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if bots are oh, the only thing we play against in regular games. They might be. But we're able to get this first kill. And only shake down if you think you can. Don't shake down out in the open like you could in the past. You could move around, but not this season, guys. You can't. And there we go. There is our next kill. So at this point, guys, typically what I would do, I would probably go around and, you know, start killing people, shaking them down to get that little bit of extra XP. But how hard it is, guys, to actually play this game right now in bot lobbies, I don't know if I'm going to do that. 
So maybe I'll just sort of focus more on the quick challenges and getting them done rather than doing a bunch of other stuff like looting up. I mean, that's fine, but I'm definitely not going to instigate fights, I'll say. And if I do, it's because I'm gonna have some mats or they have no guns or, you, you know, actually be able to protect myself, not shake them down in the open. So, you know what? I'm gonna shake this guy down. I have a decent amount of health. This guy only has a pistol. Get a little bit of extra XP. And if you kill them at the same time, you do get more XP for double E-limbs. So I would definitely try to not fully kill the person if you can. And we harvested all the wood right there. There we go. Gonna open this up, get a little tiny bit of XP. And now we're gonna fish three times, guys. I would definitely fish at fishing holes if you're able to, if not. Um, unless it says fish at fishing holes for the challenge, you can just fish the water. You're gonna be missing out on a little bit of XP, but that's okay. Wait, oh, so it's catch, catch fish. So yeah, we definitely don't have to fish at fishing holes and we will be fishing the water. But after this, I feel like it's probably good for me not to go looking for fishing holes. They're not the best way for XP. So we're just gonna fish the water. There we go, one more fish. We just need one more and then we can back out. Completed all three challenges in decent time. And there we go, there's our next fish challenge completed. Now I back out just like that. This is like only for the super hardcore grinders. If that's literally all you're doing, that is what I'm currently doing. This is the way I would do it if I were trying to get XP as quickly as possible. Now that the game's loading up, now I, I look at the next challenges, what we gotta do. We gotta craft a weapon, fish from a freezer. Okay, that one shouldn't be too hard. Already thinking Misty Meadows. If not, if it has UFOs there, then I'm not going there. Um, then I'm gonna have to figure out something else. So yes, UFOs are at Misty Meadows. That's okay, I can go over to Craggy Cliffs. And now, in the pregame lobby, again, I'll check the challenges, try to remember them. We have to craft a weapon, swim 100 meters, which we can easily do at Craggy Cliffs, and then get a fish from the freezer, which we can do. Let's go do it. So once the battle bus timer starts, make sure to back out with your bot account. Don't do it before that or it's gonna make you wait like a minute and a half to load into a game, which will like completely hurt your chances of getting XP in a quick way. I might have messed up guys, I think I did. Obviously I'm gonna still count this, but I definitely messed up. I can't remember exactly if there are any fish over here in the freezers. Um, I don't know. But like this, I would just get a ton of XP, open up all of these barrels, open up. Oh, there we go. We can craft, so let's do that immediately, get this challenge done. And then guys, we gotta go swimming. Oh man, I don't know if we can get a freezer fish. I really don't. But we gotta swim right here, 100 meters. See how long this takes. So I'm gonna just sort of swim in circles until it's done. Then I'm gonna get in the boat and I'm gonna go over to the island where I believe there is a freezer with fish. And there we go, 100 meters, 1700 extra XP. Get in the boat. So this is one of the problems with not knowing like a great majority of the map because right here, we could have gotten to Misty Meadows. No, we, we couldn't because there's UFOs there. So if you don't know another spot with fish in the freezer, then you're screwed. And now I'm questioning whether there's a fish over here. Um, I don't think so. Guys, this is bad. This is bad. Pleasant Park, does it have any freezer fish? So we got a bot right here. Oh my God, no, no. Well, I died. Okay. Well, we're gonna hop into our next game, guys. We're probably gonna go to Misty just to get this challenge done because honestly, I couldn't think of any other locations. Every location I thought of, no, it didn't work. We cannot go to Misty Meadows this game. That is okay. 
So we've got to catch air in a land vehicle. We have to harvest metal from compact cars, which those two line up pretty nicely. And then again, get a fish from the freezer. Guys, I feel like this one just messed me up so badly. If we didn't have that one, we could have gotten XP so much quicker. So I'm going to give you the actual numbers I got from this game. But I'm also going to give you what I think I should have got if I were a little bit smarter. Or maybe what a smarter person would have got. Gonna land over at Compact Cars. Open up this chest. Start farming right now. I would definitely farm the fences if you are doing this challenge. But you guys probably already know that. We're gonna get 200 metal. Which is obviously one of the easiest challenges ever. If these were all of the challenges just farming stuff. I mean, I'd be level 1000. And we're about to complete it right there. That is all we need. As you guys just heard, we did get this challenge done. We have two more. Catch air in a land vehicle and also freezer fish. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to get that one done. <laughs> but I mean, it is somewhat realistic to get this challenge or to get a challenge that isn't like the easiest or maybe not the most convenient. It's going to happen. But also, there are times where the most convenient things will happen. And there we go. That challenge is completed. So it's tough for me to really know the exact number. The exact number of XP you could get in like an hour, let's say. I think it would be hard for me to even find a number that is realistic. But this is really all I can do. You guys might be faster. Some of you guys may be slower. It's, it's hard to exactly know even for yourself what your average xp will be all right guys i think i'm gonna call it i just don't have the knowledge of where all of these fish are i i don't know where these freezers are but what i'm going to do i'm gonna look up a map of all of the freezers in the game and i'm gonna look at that and we're gonna see what the closest ones were and if we knew where they were then we obviously would have been able to get them so I think that is fair to say that the average person has a pretty decent knowledge of the map, especially if you are an XP grinder. But let's go check out the numbers, guys. Let's see what we get. So guys, we actually had two right next to me. The one at Craggy Cliffs was right over here. I probably could have gotten there within a minute, I would say. So I'm going to add an extra minute right there. And this one, um, we were right next to compact cars. Obviously, I could have driven up here over to here. And this ice chest wasn't too far away. Or I could have even gone to the orchard, which probably would have been a little bit faster. So if I knew either of these, I would say an extra 30 seconds to get another 1.7k XP. I think that is pretty fair. So I'm going to do that in my math. I'll be back. There wasn't any timer on the screen, but those three games took me 12 minutes and 20 seconds. And I felt like adding on one minute and 30 seconds for the ice chest was fair, but I think it's also fair to say I spent about two minutes looking for them. So that's why I'm gonna deduct 30 seconds from the total time, making it 12 minutes and 20 seconds. And I will be adding on one ice chest and 1700 XP extra for game number two and three i think that's fair if you guys want to disagree feel free but i honestly think if i knew they were there i probably wouldn't have gotten too much extra xp maybe a little bit here and there maybe one extra ammo box one extra chest but if i knew where they were i would have gone to them opened them and then it would have been fine then i would have backed out of the game and this would be completely normal and the numbers wouldn't really have changed but in game one, I will show you everything I ended up doing. Some people don't really take into consideration AR specialist or AR expert or the new storm circle, but all these things give you XP. So I kept track of all of them, and then I ended up completing the three challenges um, for 1700 XP. So in game one, I got close to 8,000 XP, which I think is pretty good. And in game two, guys, I did a little bit less, still got a decent amount of extra XP outside of the quick challenges, about 1,500 extra. I got 6,655 XP in game two, a little bit worse than the first game. But in game three, guys, I ended up getting 5,515. 
and that just isn't great it's not that much more obviously i didn't do too much this game i got two chests and i counted the extra ice chest i would have gotten but sadly i didn't know where it was so i feel like it's fair to say any xp grinder out there if you are grinding xp even before this video most likely you would know most locations most of the locations for ice chests chests ammo boxes all of that you already know that so i feel like it's fair for me to have done that and i wanted to explain that just so you guys don't get too upset but 12 minutes and 20 seconds 20,090 xp and in one hour, you could get very close to 100,000 XP. That is absolutely insane, guys. Almost 100,000 XP per hour if you do this method. I think you could get it a little bit higher. I mean, I was sort of panicking just trying to get these challenges done, but I feel like if you're doing them over and over again and you're in a rhythm, I could have gotten more XP doing other things while still keeping the time um, pretty low per game. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I will most likely be making like, if you could get to level 1000 this season, probably in a few days, maybe a week or so, but I will be using these numbers. If you guys disagree with me using these numbers, make sure to let me know, but yeah, I'm probably going to use them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.